Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So your next video is about rail fence. Uh, now, I, oh, I hope you know what is rail fence. So let's take a brief idea on rail fence. So let's imagine your plain text is like uh, Navin Reddy. So your plain text is Navin Reddy. So what you do is to convert into cipher text. Let's make just to, to make it simple. Let's take a capital thing. So we have all these capital letters. So uh, this is my plain text now in ready. I have to convert this plain text into cipher text. And the idea of uh, rail fence is you just have to arrange this thing in two, uh, two, two rows. One will be N. Uh, then we have to go for the next row. We have to go for A. Then in again here you have to go for V. Then here you have to go for I. And then you have to go for N. Again, you have to arrange everything in diagonal format. And then you, when you read this, again, we have, will be having continue ready here. But when you read it, it will be NVN, then RDY, then it will be AIRDY. So what it means, you have to you have to write it in, in this uh, diagonal format and you have to read it in row wise. This is how it works, right? So to implement this, what we'll do is, will take will treat these letters in go with their index numbers so this index number is zero and this index number is nine right so what we can do we can take all even numbers together and then we can go for all odd letters together so how to do that for that we'll, we'll require a string called as plain text so we'll say pt then we we'll require a cipher text and okay so let's let's see let's uh, let's make my plain text as again how to take input from user that you know from my previous tutorial. So time being, we'll take directly take this string as Navin ready. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll just run a loop, and this loop will start with uh, i equal to zero. It will go till the pt length, so pt dot length, and then i plus plus. Now we just have to check, uh, I missed a semicolon here, okay. Now we just have to check that index number, is it uh, even or odd? So we'll directly say if i mod 2 is equal to equal to 0, that means it's an even number, right? So for that we'll take, uh, we'll take two extra variables and we'll name these variables as string uh, even part we can say string even and we'll say odd okay and the default value for this will be blank just for the initialization okay now we'll say uh, it's even uh, equal to it's even plus now uh, we have to as uh, we have to take this we have to fetch this n right now how to fetch this n it's very simple you just have to say pt dot uh, cat add it will will get i right simple and then in else part we'll say odd equal to odd mm, plus pt dot cat add i so all these even characters will go to even and all these odd characters will go to add odd and then that's it when you once the loop is completed you got all the uh, diagonal format while printing, you just have to print even and then you have to print odd. It's as simple as that, right? This is your real fence. Uh, let me run this code. Okay, see so this. It's, uh, it's n. Okay, uh, where's the output? Yeah, it's n, then it's v, then it's again n, then it goes for e, then it goes for d, and then it's go back to a, then i, then r then d then y so this is how your rail fin works that's right, simple again for this modif some modifications are there first you have to take input from user so this input should be from user then you have to run this loop that's it then you can print the cipher text is and you can print the data so this is how rail fin, rail fin works for further video for the videos uh, do subscribe and thank you so much for watching